Hello everyone and welcome back to another plan with me. This week I'm planning from May the 20th to May the 26th and I'm using this self-care kit from the Hummingbird Planner. So these are the four boxes and a couple of quarter boxes at the bottom. We've got washi tape, checklists, habit trackers, a weekly checkbox and a normal one. Then we've got a range of functional deco and icons here. We've got some flags, some little appointment boxes, a couple of headers and date boxes. Then we've got the half boxes, weekend banner and the glitters headers, which is slightly different because if you've watched any of my previous videos, this bit would have come on a separate sheet. So I'm very much looking forward to trying out this new style of kit from the Hummingbird Planner. And this one is also going to be slightly different, this video. Someone asked me in one of my previous videos to attempt the Planner Babe Tag questions as I planned. So I am going to be answering those for you whilst I plan. And to make it slightly easier, because the last time I tried to do a Q&A with planning, I did take a lot longer than I expected. I am going to attempt planning in my old style again. I have not attempted this since being in the Happy Planner. I have no idea if it's going to work. So, why not, why not try? Why not try? So, yeah, used to go washi tape, checklists, full boxes, and then normal stuff. I'm not sure how well this is going to fit. I might have to change the checklists and extra stuff around just because washi tape is probably going to finish here and I don't think that is going to be enough room but we can try can't we so I think we should just crack on and get started so the first question is what bag do you carry your planner in easy I, I don't I do not carry my planner with me anywhere my planner well all my planners stay at home i have no need to take them with me unless i'm going on holiday and it's for a certain amount of time and i know that there will be points in time where i might not be doing anything so i'll take my planner to catch up so i have an activity to do and if so it just gets carried with me in the car um I don't actually, however, carry my panel with me at all. Right, let's try this. Mm, that's going to be a squeeze. Nope, we'll do it. Let's, let's try it, guys. But yeah, I know. Two, how many planners do you use at one time? Very good question. Just like every other planner girl out there, I have, a, I have a range of planners and they all serve a specific purpose. As I've mentioned in a previous video, there are a lot of planners that I have which I only refer to once or twice a month because that's what I've set them up to do. Um, but I guess that is still me using them. Because they are serving their purpose. So let's count. We've got my Happy Planner. We've got my A5 Geek K. Mm -hmm. I've got my Paper Chase. Which actually I'm not really using at the moment. So I will. I will. Yeah, let's take that one out. Bullet Journal. I have my Santoro Gorgeous Planner. But I feel like that's it. I think that's it. So I'm currently using four. But with my paper chase planner, I have five. I'm just, I'm in the process of rejigging my paper chase planner. So we'll go for five to include it, but because it is going, it does have a purpose. And I was using it before I thought about mixing it up a little bit. Three, what is your planner routine? Set the stage set the stage for us. Do you use music, environment, day you plan and time, etc? Okay, I do not use music because as you guys can see, 
I plan to you guys and I like to talk. Um, so, and for copyright reasons, I cannot just have Capital or Radio 1 or whatever playing in the background as I plan. Um, but my actual planning routine, I plan at some point over the weekend. So that's Friday, Saturday or a Sunday. I I always try, as you'll see in my plan with me's, to film on a Saturday. Particularly because it does give me the whole day on Sunday to export my video from my phone to my laptop, upload it to YouTube and all that boring stuff. Um, and it also means if I'm busy on Saturday, I do have a whole day to film and edit. Um, I used to plan on a Sunday and if I for whatever reason was late doing it I felt incredibly rushed so I always now try to plan plan on a Saturday just to give me that little extra time the time that I plan it's usually in the evenings unless like today I am doing the whole having to plan on a Sunday then I always try to do it in the mornings before we do anything because some days are either days that we catch up on shopping or relax and I'd rather get this filmed and exporting whilst I'm doing other stuff so I know that I'm getting in a sense two jobs done at once um, the environment that I plan in I am at my desk and that never changes. And well, no, nah. it sometimes changes. Sometimes I take it to bed with me if I know I haven't yet planned out the next day. Then I will take my planner to bed with me, write out my to-do list, and then put it to the side of my bed, just so when I wake up I've got that to-do list ready. But usually it sits on my desk. And my planner routine in general, so yeah, I plan once a week in my happy planner. And I refer to it daily for to-do lists. My bullet journal I use daily. My Kiki K planner is the one that I refer to once or twice a month. And my paper chase is having a rejig. And my gorgeous planner is for is not actually for planning, it's for uh, information about the stuff that I believe in. So that just gets picked up whenever I'm doing stuff about that. What snacks do you eat during planning? Oh, I wish. But if I ate on camera, I would probably spend more time eating than planning because I am a serious chocolate lover, girls, and... I will just sit here and eat chocolate. So, and that's probably not going to be very good for anyone. I'm putting this one, or should I do that? Actually, I will do it at opposite ends of the week. Oh, now I see where the, the difference comes in for the Happy Planner and the Own Condren box sizes. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, I do not eat during planning, which is sad. Okay, when did you start planning and get introduced to the planning community? Planning like this, I have been planning like this for three years. And I got introduced to a group called UK Planner Addicts, which was a group that my mum was in. And yeah, I she's been planning for her whole life. Um, so I just one day saw what she was doing and I was like, oh, I really like that. And voila, that's my planning story. Um, however, as you'll see in my next question, I have I have been planning for longer than three years, just not quite like this. So life mm. before planning. Productive or not? Um, yes, I was fairly productive because, much like other schools, I had a a diary or a planner that they give you. 
sorry the full box there was bugging me so I had to had to beat it up but luckily these stickers are removable or at least if they're not I just made it so and it didn't rip so that's a good thing I'm gonna just stick that back down again <laughs> okay it's a little bit crumpled but we'll live okay so yeah productive or not yes I was productive because of my school planner um, and therefore I've been planning technically since I was about 11 <laughs> what is your layout preference oh i think i should come back to this at the end of the video at the moment i plan chronologically so i can really determine how much of my day is getting used by doing what tasks but the reason i am doing this this week is because i really do miss this layout i really miss my incredibly organised look. Um, so I thought I'd try it out again just because I do miss it a lot. And I miss the colour blocking and all of that. Although as you can see I'm going to have a lot of room for extra planning so <laughs> this is going to be fun. Okay. So yeah my layout preference at the moment is chronological with white space although if i have stickers i don't don't you worry i will be using them um so yeah do you prefer sticker kits or create my own spread i prefer sticker kits so far all of the ones well all of the videos from this year have been using sticker kits i will however be doing some videos in the near future which are using different kind of sticker kits, not actual oh I don't need that one. Not actual sticker kits from Etsy shops or whatever, but just like a sticker book from Amazon. So that's going to be new. Um and I also want to do a couple of leftover spreads as well. So using Leftover half boxes, quarter boxes. I've got a couple of full boxes actually that I haven't used from kids. So I definitely want to use those up. So I want to do a couple of leftover spreads. But mainly I use sticker kits. Do you prefer spiral, disc or journal style planners? I prefer rings. <laughs> um, although this is disc, and I adore my happy planner. You know, you guys know how much I love my happy planner. I, oh, I think I'll always be a rings girl. And again, as much as I love my happy planner, I am really considering going in back into inserts for next year. Um, I mean, we're only in May, and I've already come to that decision. Um, I mean, I'm still going to ponder on it, just because oh, I, I love my Happy Planner and it's been a joy to use this so far this year. I have absolutely nothing to, you know, moan about it or nothing like that. I have no complaints. But I know, I just I think I'll always be a rings girl. And all of my planners, other than my happy planner and my bullet journal, are all rings. So that's three extra planners and they are all ring planners. Um So yes, I th I think I'm a rings girl. Doesn't mean I don't like any others. I have I have had a spiral, I had an Erin Condren last year, and I have had a disc because I've got my happy planner, and I do have a journal because I have a traveller's notebook, which, as if you've seen my bullet journal videos, that houses my bullet journal. So, you know, I like them all, I just, Rings has that flexibility that I really like you know 
Wow, okay, this is taking me back. This is definitely taking me back. And I love it. Okay. Oh, this is this could be bad for me. I might be switching back to this layout, guys. Oh boy. Okay. Favourite planner supply? Stickers, obviously. Mm, yeah, stickers. <laughs> I do love a good writing pen, but I do not use colour in my in my happy planner, so I just stick to a black pen. Um, I often use either my Tombow and my actually I've got one next to me. I've got this one, my Uni Pin Fine Liner in 0 0.5. Often use this one. But if not, I just use a ballpoint pen, and I'm, I'm not afraid to say that. Um, but I cannot plan without these beauties. Favourite area to plan, and when they say area to plan, they mean like sections, so family or budgeting or faith or cleaning or household stuff, whatever like that. Okay, so as you guys are aware, I'm sorry if you just heard my phone buzz. I like to plan my weeks. I like to do my to-do lists. But yes, it doesn't mean that I only like this. I have many of these categories that I've just listed out in my Kiki K planner. And I know it sounds a little bit sad, but I do like good put a budget plan. Something my husband and I do weekly, although he gets paid monthly. It is something, yes, that we do weekly together. We sit down, work out what's going out, when, who's doing what. Okay, and just like how I do other date covers I'm just gonna put deco or something up here just to hide that um so yeah I think I'm gonna have to go for budget probably because it's the one that I just I do so often you know and to be able to see that you haven't spent all of your money within the first three days is lovely <laughs> so that's always good any funny planner stories Oh boy, do I have a funny planner story? I don't think so. I know that's, that's quite depressing. I... I don't think I do. I mean, I, I can think of a planner story which technically isn't me. Um, as I've mentioned a couple of times, my planning journey has been shared between me and my mum. And we do stuff together. And she very recently bought, she did a sticker order. <laughs> um, and she was very upset when she realised she ordered the wrong thing. But <sighs> I think other than that, I don't really actually have any fa funny planner stories. Which is sad. Right, okay, so moving on. Now I've actually got to think about what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do... I'm just going to mark down things that I definitely know. Yeah, like so, okay. Right, next next question. What is your favourite planner tool? Okay, I'm not entirely sure what they mean by this. Um, I just forgot I'm meant to be colour blocking, aren't I? Oh, I'm so used to just putting boxes down willy-nilly. And now I've messed up. Okay. What is your favourite planner tool? I'm not entirely sure what they mean by this. Do they mean... Because I feel like I've just answered this, what's my favourite planner supply? Mm, okay, I might edit this question. 
I'm going to do an app. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how well this is going to go. But, yeah, I'm going to... What helps me, okay, in my planning? What tools help me in my day-to-day -day life? Up, down, up. Trello. Yep. That is a planning tool that I have been extensively using now for a good couple of months, and I love it. I'm only on the free version, and long may that continue, because I know you can buy Pro, which allows you to have multiple different parts to it, if you will. But I feel like I don't need it, because the free version gives me everything that I need. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy with that, as you can probably imagine. There we go. That's all my half boxes down. Oh, this brings back so many memories. Oh, wow. Okay, but yeah, I think my favourite planning tool outside of my Happy Planner and stickers, I am going to have to go for Trello. It's just, it's, oh, it's so good. Um, okay, the last one. What is your planner goal? Mm -hmm. Okay, so my planner goal, people. It's just for something that's going to work for me. I know that sounds, I don't know, it might sound a bit soppy or it's not very creative as an answer, but... Planner piece is only valid whilst you are the same person but people evolve they adapt they change they learn new things they drop things and therefore your planning style just like that is going to change with you and that in itself is planner piece knowing and understanding that your planning style will not always be the same hence why i've got a different kind of spread here um i think that in itself is an essence of planner piece I mean, obviously my ultimate planner goal would be to have stickers left, right and centre so I never have to worry about not having a kit for a week or whatnot. But, I don't know, I think, I think overall I just want it to be functional, you know? I hope that makes sense. <laughs> okay. I need this little one there. What have I, what, what have I done? Oh, you guys, I've messed up again. I'm so not used to colour blocking. It's unreal. Okay, flag, you're moving there. Inducer, they're going there. Okay, we're good now. And that, that is it. That is the Planner Babe tag questions. And I feel like I'm <laughs> sad that I've run out now. Um, no, I hope you have learnt more about my planning journey, however. Yeah, overall, I really, I don't know, I just really enjoy planning. <laughs> and that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. But at least now I can actually f focus on the day-to-day -day stuff, so. Monday. What am I going to be doing Monday? Right, I need something to signify my plan would be going live. Which, mm, what do I do? Might do this one because it's sort of a planner. There we go. Anything else I'm going to do? Yes, coffee time sticker has to be. There we go. Okay, Tuesday. 
as it's all night so I've got orders to do hmm do need to do bins so that can go there and I'm gonna put a quarter box down at the bottom to cover that black line and anything else I'll just write it there Wednesday okay Wednesday we are going to a show so I've got a flag kit for the train times and I've got a half box obviously for the for the show itself I need something to mark oh what do I do probably might just do another quarter box perhaps mm. well I don't know now actually no this one for the to sort out the goodie bag stuff okay Thursday Thursday my husband is off work I've got a couple of orders to do um and I have a friend coming down so I'm going to use this sticker there just to celebrate that um, I also need to put this down because I'll have a video no I'll have a blog post going up that day and then I'll finish off with well let's finish off with a bag don't mind a little bit of that showing through. There we go. Okay, Friday. Friday's just going to be really busy. Okay, yes, I have got a confession. I have bought running shoes and sports bras. So you're going to be seeing this fitness icon a lot more now. Am I nervous? Yeah, a little bit, but <laughs> let's try not, let's just pretend that I'm totally good at being fit. That is, yes, exactly what I'm going for. Oh, you guys, happy memories. Right, let's do this quick. My sidebar hasn't really ever changed. Just a lot of habit trackers. And a weekly checkbox. That's always been... And I've never really focused about colour blocking or what. I just like to shove down whatever I have to use. There we go. Yeah, now I've got a lot of space. That's a lot more than I usually have. Why is that the case? Okay, let's Okay, let's just make it look pretty, I guess. And where are you gonna f okay, so one over that one. There we go. I've just finished it off with a quarter box in case I needed any extra room. That is it guys, this is my old style of planning. Oh, and now I'm really torn because I do miss this spread. I do miss the way that I used to do it. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Do you prefer this kind of spread? Or my usual just stuff hickledy pickledy all over the place chronological? That is the best way I think to uh, describe my planning. But yeah, here we go. This is it. This is my, my beautiful planning spread. I really like this kit. It's super, super, super nice. Um yeah and that is it that's all i can say i'm very happy and i hope that you have learned a little more about my planning journey 
If you like this video, don't forget to like and comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any questions or any other panel questions you'd like me to answer, definitely leave them down below as well. But until next time, bye guys.